What's going on everybody? It's your boy Big O back in the building with yet another video. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say thanks to everyone for tuning in. I uh, hope everyone is having a glorious day. And um, yeah, let's just get right into it. I, I placed an order at PetMountain.com, which is where I do pretty much most of, most of my shopping for all my animals. <clears throat> and I knew I was going to receive the package today. So uh, I ran to Petco to get a few things that, um, that I couldn't get on that website because uh, of the particular brand. For whatever reason, they don't have that brand on the website. But anyway, uh, when I got back from Petco, this, this package was waiting for me outside. So it was like perfect timing. So first we're going to get into what I got from Petco. Then we're going to get into this unboxing. Uh, most of the things I got was basically food. It was time for me to kind of restock on my food items. I usually, I don't really, that's the receipt. I don't really usually do much food shopping throughout the year. I kind of just get like large shipments or large kind of like stock ups of food and then kind of go from there. Um, alright, so the guy, what I got from Petco was these are all um, Omega-1 products with the exception of this this is um I don't know if there it is three frozen uh, fuzzy mouse mice these are basically treats from my uh, Pacific Coast giant Mexican musk I give her probably one every six weeks <clears throat> but that's one item that I got the rest of the three items are all um, uh, Omega One products. So first thing I got was uh, the adult turtle sticks, the Omega One. I really like Omega One because of basically the ingredients that they put in their food. If no, that's not it. Here we go. If you see, first few ingredients are whole salmon, whole herring halibut and then you got your wheat flour and your wheat gluten which is not the greatest but then you got whole kelp and a bunch of vitamins and minerals and supplements but um, a lot of times the first handful of ingredients the first four or five ingredients on the list of ingredients of any product are the main ones so the fact that the first three are pretty much whole fish or the first four are whole fish can't be mad at that and this is going to be um, just for variety for my uh, my Escambia map. Another Omega One product we have here is sh sinking shrimp pellets. And again, if you look at the first five ingredients, you'll see whole shrimp, whole salmon, cod, whole herring, seafood mix, krill, rockfish, shrimp, yada yada yada, salmon eggs, octopus, all type of good stuff. Um, you know, we're talking about a species of turtle that I'm feeding this to that's basically carnivorous, so it goes right in with their diet. It's, so this is for my striped neck musk, by the way. My, my map will probably get some of these as well. <clears throat> but, um, they sink, um, so it's perfect for, for, for muds and musks who like to kind of dig around on the bottom. And finally, we have some of the large size cichlid pellets this is going to be for variety for my um pacific coast mexican musk and getting right into it is my knife here it is let's get into this box let me zoom back out okay so as i was saying i got this from um uh, petmountain.com Definitely check them out. Great prices. Uh, pretty decent variety. I wish they had Omega One products, then I wouldn't have to go to Petco. Um, but I've been shopping with them for a long time. And they've never failed me. So definitely go check them out. But anyway, let's see what we have here. First item in the box. Uh, just some filter media, just a big filter pad. We have the uh, Zoomed red shrimp treats for the turtles. 
we have a couple of bags of the sinking carnivore pellets. This is the staple that I feed to my striped neck. And actually I give a lot of this to my, my map as well. Uh, sinking cichlid gold, um, more variety for the for the uh, the striped neck. We have the uh, koi wheat germ formula. This is uh, for variety for all of the turtles and also for um, the wheat germ has a high amount of I think vitamin E. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, if it's not vitamin E, it's vitamin A. I'm pretty sure it's vitamin E though, but basically this is good for their shell and their skin. If you're having problems with them, retain scoots and any sort of shedding problems and things like that, this is definitely something you want to use to remedy that. Um, we have some more filter media. There's some ammo carb. We have some more food this is massive or delight this right here is essentially a larger form a larger pellet size of this from what I can tell it's basically the same thing these are just a lot bigger um, this I'll probably be using is strictly for my uh, uh, giant Mexican musk has a really high protein count about 47% so perfect for a uh, carnivorous species Oh, and uh, this one sinks as well. We have a little, what do we have here? Oh, a little can of treats here. There's a can of grasshoppers, the zoom head line. I've used these before. Pretty good sized grasshoppers in here. Um, then the rest is all lighting. These are all the light bulbs I'll be using. I bought three of these. The, um, compact fluorescent UVB bulbs and then I bought 400 watt heat bulbs and four 75 watt heat bulbs and that's about it um, any questions comments concerns uh, definitely let me know down in the comments section um, I'll probably be doing a video uh, being more specific on what exactly I feed to uh, which turtle and you know maybe on um, some ideas on what foods to pick uh, for your turtle depending on whether it's carnivorous or omnivorous or herbivorous or you know somewhere in between but yeah uh, with that being said we're gonna go ahead and bring this one to a close I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and until the next time happy reptile keeping peace